come with us now, if you dare, down a rickety staircase into a dank, dark basement. What awaits the Saturday Night Freak Show? (laughs) Thanks for listening to the Saturday Night Freak Show podcast. Every Saturday night, the Freak Show happens, whether you're ready for it or not, right here on iTunes, Stitcher Radio, TuneIn Radio, and more. Uh, also you can write to us or you can find us on Facebook, facebook.com slash Saturday night freak show on Twitter at sat freak show, or you can write to us uh, via email Saturday night freak show at yahoo.com. And we'll read your comments in the, Yay, we did it. We did it. <laughs> <laughs> We've been practicing. <laughs> yeah, we'll read your comments later in the Igor's mailbag section of the podcast. And we'll summon Igor to bring us the mail. We're a movie review podcast. We sit around in a basement, watch movies, and talk about them for your entertainment and listening pleasure. And the people who will talk about it are the internet radio superstars Sean, Michaela, Holly. And I'm Colin. And tonight the movie was chosen by Holly. Yeah. What did we watch tonight, Holly? We watched Demolition Man. The timeless classic from the year. 1993. Uh, That's important, I think, because of tonight's subject matter, which is... The future. (laughs) The future, Holly? (laughs) The future. Yeah, sure. In the year 2032, (laughs) two men, one woman in a world where love was against the law. I mean, that's, no, that's, that's, really, yeah, that's, that's yeah. really true. And Benjamin Bride as that's well. The movie. I've always wanted to do that. Yeah. And Dennis Leary. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and a little Rob Dennis Schneider. Oh, well, that's right. Yeah. He was in it so briefly. Yeah. I forgot. Yeah. He's yeah. not even cre- like his credit is really low in yeah. the movie, yeah. too. Yeah. He's like this six down. Yeah. Yeah. Before Judge Dredd, right? Where yeah. We're team yeah. Stallone and Judge Dredd again. They had yeah. so much fun on this movie that they decided so much let's fun. make a buddy movie. <laughs> this movie is rated R for nonstop action violence. And for strong language. No nudity. There's, yeah, there was. No, no, no nudity, no nudity is, mentioned. Oh, 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 yeah. Weird. So just, fleeting. just nonstop action violence. Nonstop. Like, is that a thing great. you put on there that's anymore? Great. Nonstop action violence. I love these violence. sci-fi action wow. violence. I don't know what the hell that is either. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, no, no. It says right here, nonstop. Yeah, nonstop. Yes, nonstop. And everybody goes, that's a selling point in my book, right? <laughs> right, Nonstop yeah. action violence. Sweet. That's also part of like what this movie is about, right? It's a... Uh, Critique of something. Okay, so I, I guess Demolition Man is uh, trying to be two things at once. Maybe the two things that kind of conflict with each other. Sci-fi on, action. Well, on one hand, it's trying to be a brainless action movie of the 1990s, right? And on the same time, it's trying to be a clever social commentary, mm. right? Yeah, of where America is headed. Or where it is going to be in the future. Not really, because we're talking about Or what about would the... be the perfect future? Mm-hmm. And what would be a better future, mm-hmm. according to these people? But not. Well, but, yeah, but not the filmmakers. Yeah. The filmmakers no, the are filmmakers, clearly in the case of, like, the 90s are awesome. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. You're damn right they are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. As dim- demonstrated by Sandra Bullock's character, who is obsessed with the 90s. Right. Indeed. Very peculiar. She is all of us. <laughs> it's good to know in the year 2032, the two things that survive are Lethal Weapon 3 and Red Hot Chili Peppers, because that's what's on her wall in the yeah. office. Red Hot, or not, Red Hot, the Lethal Weapon 3 poster is because the set designer for this movie was the set designer for Lethal Weapon 3. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I was going to say, why 3? Why 3? Why it's so specific. Why, yeah, why yeah, yeah, that's why. <laughs> that makes sense. I'd put my own shit in there, too. Mm-hmm. Be like, right? Yeah. Like this Actually, movie. this movie has a lot of that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a lot. And it's produced by Joel Silver, who produced yes. Lethal uh, Weapon, the whole entire action. Lethal yeah. Weapon uh, Every series. action movie of the 90s? Yeah. 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 yeah, basically. Anything where they blow up a building. <laughs> it's not Terminator 2. It's a Joel Silver movie, uh-huh. right? Mm-hmm. I think Pretty that was much. just like, this Thank had God. to be like the crown jewel in the building explosion movies. Like, he blew up two movies in Lethal Weapon 3. There's the one at the very beginning. And they the do one again after the, end. the credits. Yeah, the end credits scene, they blow up another <laughs> that one. Seems to be a, a theme with him. Start and end was an explosion. Yeah. yeah. Book I mean, end it. Start, yeah, you know? start strong and <laughs> yeah. strong. What it works. Than, you know. It works. I like it. I don't you know. You can't top it. He's all about that symmetry. Right. It's true. Yeah. This is a very, well, I think that was also what was going on. You, you know, you say that the, uh, the all the, the lines, the situations from the beginning of the movie are repeated at the end mm. of the movie. It was a thing that, like, mm. I think they were just doing in the 90s. I mean, oh, I remember. For sure. It seems like most of the big Hollywood action films of the time were doing that that kind of stuff, which was, you know, I guess 
catering to the, or building or solidifying the formula, mm. mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. Which we'd go on for, you know, the next, well, what, 20 years trying to break that formula in our films. Right. I so. Right, yeah. we just killed the conversation. Everybody's like, yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> hey, we're having fun. <laughs> they brought that up. Explosions. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Sex well, helmets. Sex, sex helmets. Sex helmets. Sex helmets. Great band name. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> sex helmets. Yeah. I'd go copyright see the, it. Copyright, copyright 2017 Saturday Night Freak Show. I'd go see the sex helmets. That'd be a fun. I, feel, I feel like I already did. I'm yeah, like, I know. <laughs> How much uh, technology predicted in this movie for the young year of 1993 Almost did it get Right. What are you talking about? Uh, yeah, like helmet. nine. Oh, conference, have... conference skyping. Conference yep, skyping. Yeah. Yeah. I like, iPads. Basically, I like that the the bezel on their version of the iPad is like five feet thick. Yeah. Yeah. yeah exactly. Yeah. It's great. You have like this big a touch screen. <laughs> so we got to build the technology around it. It's like a proton pack iPad. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's weird. It's like they couldn't they couldn't just like envision it and then build it. Whether it was they made it look like it was like what well, we have to actually make this yeah yeah, yeah so they had yeah, all the technology yeah. built around a screen yeah. it right? has just a tv inside it, yeah. of it yeah well yeah. i mean and, you know yeah. and all their tvs are standard definition which is kind of weird yes. to look at now you're like it what really the hell? is like oh, oh oh yeah it's standard def his uh, mm-hmm. his room key was like this the touch the keep like the, the touch the card touch whatever you want to yeah, call it yeah. i can't i can't i can't i don't know what's called he touched it he he opened with the touch the hotel room card key yeah yeah that's it the voice yep. activated lights, that's a thing, too. Yeah. So, yeah. That's very yeah. true. The Siri in the car, or whatever mm-hmm. voice I activated appliance. We're getting to self-drive. Self-driving mm-hmm. cars. We're getting there. Yeah. Although I doubt any of them will have that cool steering wheel. Yeah, that steering yeah. wheel is pretty dope. Yeah. <laughs> like, that would be a great option. Have you seen the stuff they're talking about with, like, the electric cars? Of the future, they don't need. You don't need a steering wheel. Steering wheel is yeah. a thing of the past. I'll keep my steering wheel. Yeah. I'll keep my steering wheel. We got enough problems where you can, people can just hack the car you're driving anyway. Right. Yeah. I'm just going to keep driving cars pro- before the year 19. What about the parallel park feature where they just do it for you? Are you going to do that? Yeah, but I can do that. I'm, oh, yeah, okay. I mean, I Mr. I can that. parallel park, park over here. Park. I can parallel park. <laughs> that bullshit. I do it so much. I, can do it. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I don't need no damn computers. Yeah. I'm going to be fucking Dennis Leary at, in the future. I'm just going to live underground, eat rat burgers. You wouldn't survive a day. Probably not. No, as long as I had, hey, if I had uh, my cats, I'd be fine. That's all I need. That's all I need. And there'd be no rats they're, for they're the rat burgers. Well, they vinyl. Like, eat my cats. Yeah. As, long, yeah. as long as you have your cats and your vinyl, you can really, play yeah. your records. Yes, I've almost completed my turn to full hipster. Yeah. <laughs> I'm so very close. A few more inches on this beard and I am there. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Mm. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. But the All sex right. helmets, they don't exist yet. God, <laughs> no, yeah, not but there they're yet. coming. They're called virtual reality helmets, and you'll have the dolls or whatever. So, I mean, we're almost there. Oh, I was actually kind yeah, of surprised that sad. they had the quote unquote laser disc, which is basically the tiny version of the DVD. Right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And they they couldn't see far enough in the future to realize that, you know, at some point we're not even going to need physical media at right. all. Yeah. Right. In, in 1993, it was like, well, we still have these discs. They had those in RoboCop. I remember seeing yeah. RoboCop mm-hmm. predicted the DVD. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'm like, oh, there it is. Hey, I'm this movie was just all about the nonstop action violence, okay? It's That's not about right. the technology. Yeah. It's very true. <laughs> Obviously. All right, so and what? Taco Bell. So, and Taco Bell. <laughs> I mean, do we have to lay out what this movie is actually about? I mean, in case you're living under a rock, everybody knows what the Demolition Man is about, right? I think so. I mean, they should. I mean, mm-hmm. but maybe I, it's been I, a while since they've seen I it. I can't maybe imagine they, what a horrible life that would be. Right? <laughs> maybe they haven't revisited it in a while. And yeah. just like, it wasn't that the well, Wesley Snipes Stallone movie? Yeah, I kind of remember that one. Maybe they don't know. Yeah. Well, it's like the future, and uh, these two guys are their 20th century criminal, or the criminal and a cop, and they're thawed mm-hmm. out, and they have to fight each other in the future. Yes. There you go, mm-hmm. bam. There it is. That's yep. it. That's it. Yeah. So now we can just dive right into See, what this and now movie just, is actually about. You just cracked about. The, the pitching process of movies in the 1990s. <laughs> yep. yeah. High yeah. concept. Yep. Well, first you pass around the coke to everyone, and then yeah, you just, say that. And yeah, that's how every movie in the, <laughs> the 80s legit. and 90s Maybe got made. Maybe a couple of bams. Yeah. Get it, bam. And then an explosion. Bam. And then another explosion at <laughs> the end. And then get this. Yeah. Joel Silver famously had the whammy chart. He would actually put it up on the wall. It's like, here's where the whammies would happen. Yeah. That's how he built his movie. That's a real thing. 
Interesting. Character. Oh, yeah. That, yeah. Mm-hmm. That's how you build an action movie. Michael Bay is probably still using that. Yeah. <laughs> probably. Yeah. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> probably. It's weird how that happened because it was like Joel Silver and then eventually Jerry Bruckheimer. Bruckheimer, right. Bruckheimer yeah. seemed to have, you know, eventually mm-hmm. morphed into something in the uh, And we eat it up. We do. Well, well, I mean, we in the royal we, yes. Yeah. Yeah, we had a group so. of, uh, like, I don't know, eighth graders uh, on a tour today. We asked them, uh, you know, like, what was uh, oh, what's no. your favorite, you know, like, movie? Depress you. Oh, no. Uh, Transformers. Transformers uh, is oh. their favorite. Uh, <laughs> see, I mean, but when, what I, else? when I see the kids' tours come through, I put on my headphones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're just like, Shh, you don't watch that shit. No Transformers. <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> so the spectacle, the big budget stuff uh, still works. But why would you watch Transformers when you could watch this? Like, this is like in, in the same vein of movies, parenting. but it's That's way more it interesting. Yeah, I want to show my kid Transformers. Bad parenting. He's going to Ghostbusters, man. That's right. He's already got that going. It's like, you stick with that. Yeah. That's good enough. And when he's of age, Demolition Man. I mean, yeah, we'll just go through the, we'll get the 90s out of the way. It's like, this is what I used to love. And then he's going to be like, Dad, why why did you like this stuff? Like, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's who is Sylvester yeah. Stallone. Yeah. He'll have no idea. No idea. <laughs> yeah. So when they're frozen in cryo jail, they're put in like this tank and it's filled up with this like gloopy. K-Y gl- K-Y yeah. 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 Okay. Which yeah. so they're basically dr- frozen while they're drowning, which yep. is horrible. Yeah. Um, and everyone's like, and like they're in weirdly shaped tanks that don't seem efficient or you know would fit the human body in a nice way. Or are they efficient because they make them the, smaller, and yeah. easier for? But everyone's tank. like pretzeled up in the same weird way in these tanks, but. <laughs> Do you guys okay? Do you guys remember Planet Hollywood when Planet Hollywood was a big yeah. thing? Yeah. Do you remember there. that they used to have Stallone in the ice hanging from the ceiling? Yes. What? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's like, naked Stallone in the ice hanging from the ceiling of Planet Hollywood. That was like my introduction to this movie because I was like, "What the fuck is that from?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Went to Planet Hollywood and I was that? like, "What?" <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mommy. Kind of surprised they didn't make it into a table instead of hanging it from that the ceiling. That would have been better, right? Yeah. The, like, oh, you eat on Stallone naked table frozen today. Stallone, yeah. That's a genius. But, but yeah. that's yeah. probably where they're well, just Well, hey, like, Planet Hollywood closed. Maybe we can buy one. <laughs> They'll have to fall out of every table, single one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Planet Hollywood in Vegas is still open, and it's awesome. <laughs> I'll go check Very it out. Very true. The, <laughs> the hotel, if you want to see a celebrity, there's a good chance there's going to be some at Planet Hollywood. Yeah, there is. Yeah. It's, um, still, they still, still go there. Wow. Yeah, no, I know someone that Tom Hardy bought them a bunch of drinks there. Nice. What? Well, well, I know. I, awesome. I cry myself to sleep thinking yeah. about it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm just curious yeah. about what the uh, like the criminal justice system in the future then by freezing people. Like, how is this a punishment? Everybody else gets to live and die. It's except not about for, punishment. I think it's more about rehabilitation at this point. Yeah, but you're going to be rehabilitated 30 odd years in the future. So, like, yeah. you get to leapfrog past, you know, I guess that's the idea, right? It's the, that you are cut off. Yeah. That you know and love and all, all your mm-hmm. friends, family, and all that are going to be dead and you're going to be on parole. And that's your, your sense. Right. But or, it's, or but you're it's weird because they get like a second chance at life. Like, you're yeah. the same well, age. Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're, you just go on pause for a while and right. then, okay. Now we're going to try again. Seems well, really expensive to the taxpayer. Too. But we don't necessarily know that they're just going to let the criminals go. They might like break them out and then put them to some use where they're not like free. Parole might mean something else in like the future. Like a seamstress? Sure. <laughs> so, yeah. Give them a job. Yeah, something you get like reprogrammed that. in yeah. your sleep with the uh, whatever. The rehab. The, 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 yeah, the neural yeah. and whatever yeah. and what have you. And, you know. mm-hmm. Brain stuff. Yeah. The, yeah. the brain stuff. <laughs> But well, they'd probably put them to use at some point. Maybe, yeah. again, not total freedom, but... Well, it's interesting that the future, I think, is, uh, you know, I mean, like, basically whenever you do the future in science fiction, it seems like it usually comes down in one of two ways. You're either going to have the the dystopia, mm-hmm. right, of, like, uh, I don't know what you call it. Yeah, Blade Runner, I suppose, is a dystopian movie, right? Sure. Or, yeah. Uh, yeah. It seems a little... It's not as... Uh, it doesn't seem as dire as other movies have made it, like, desolate... Is, escape is, from New York, then, or escape yeah, from or yeah. like the nuclear That's, holocaust in future. Yeah, yeah, it's not as bad as that. I think Escape from L.A. was popping Mad in Max. my head because that was like around the same time of this movie, right? Giving a, a look yeah. at a mm-hmm. futuristic Los yeah. Angeles. Yes, in this movie, San Angeles, because it's just become a sprawl, right? The mm-hmm. entire. Los uh, Angeles had more surfing Western though, in that seaboard. movie than uh, yeah. this one. Way more surfing. <laughs> That's true. And this Hank movie Lighting. goes the other way and becomes a utopia. Is it a utopia? Is this mm-hmm. the message of the movie that a uh, utopian ideal is still corrupt? It's a, there's no such thing as a utopia. What are you talking about? Everybody lives in uh, happy joy-joy places and yeah. they're being well to each other. 
They love it there. They don't think for themselves, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> They're a bunch of schmucks. I think that's the distinction, right? It's like yeah. when George Orwell wrote, wrote 1984, the idea, or Fahrenheit 451, mm-hmm. right? The, uh, Ray Bradbury. Right. The idea was that there was going to be a totalitarian state where, you know, people would be burning books and suppressing thought, THX 1138. Mm-hmm. And then you had Brave New World Which by is, Aldous Huxley. Yeah. And Not so subtle reference. Yeah. <laughs> Lee, Greatly influenced Liana. this movie. Lenina, Lenina. Which is another character in Brave yeah. New yeah. World. Yeah. So. Yeah. Not subtle at all. <laughs> They're really punching it hard there. And in yeah. this one, you <laughs> basically like, uh, what was the Matt, uh, Matt or Mike Judge movie? Uh, Idiocracy. Idiocracy, yeah. right? Where it's like you won't need totalitarianism because everybody's basically just going to be an idiot, and they won't yeah. <laughs> won't be able to uh, mm-hmm. to think for themselves. Mm-hmm. So underneath this, you have the actual class of they're not even like freedom fighters. The no, Dennis they're, Leary they don't, group. They're not really fighting for no. anything. They're just they're kind just, of they're like the hiding they from. They're, they're hiding separate from it. society yeah. Yeah. around that, where they can just avoid all the rules. Because right. in this society, anything that's bad for you, salt, alcohol, sex, anything right. is yeah. outlawed. Which I'm just like, what the fuck do these people do with all their free time? <sighs> make like, rap murders. Like, no, no, make, the people no, the people up, yeah. like, oh, in the, the like, up what the fuck jingles. do they do all the time? Sex helmets. It, right? Sex helmets and radio jingles. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah, jingles the are their favorite genre of music <laughs> in this movie. That was the most baffling funny, thing. funny, though. Yeah. When you think about it, like, they don't, uh, I guess music would be considered bad, right? But what makes so they it, outlaw it? But jingles are promoting a product that could potentially be, like, hot dogs aren't great for you. And right. they were singing the fucking it, hot dog like, jingle. It's like a harmless nostalgia they look at it like. Probably. Like, this is a thing yeah. of the past. They don't exist now, so right. it's not. Mm-hmm. Plus, it's not, I don't think, delivering a message that can corrupt anybody in the future. Yeah. Well, that's, that's how I was confused, I guess, because whenever they needed to know, you know, some something about the past mm-hmm. or something somebody at some point made a reference to a book and i can't remember what it was i think it was the police captain he said something and i'm like now how the hell does he know what that is because that would be a book that apparently nobody reads nobody is aware of anything from the right. 20th century that something happened the great pur- purge or something was- Oh, right? but, well, there was the but, earthquake that they talked yeah. about. Well, and this yeah. was yeah, but there this was, was like an uprising or something yeah. also that took place. And this guy uh, Cocteau comes to power in San Angeles or forms San Angeles, and with his idea of the criminal, uh, the cryo prison, wow. mm-hmm. just by itself, apparently he institutes the the new world order. Yeah. Just, mm-hmm. So I'm like, how far out does this go? Is mm-hmm. this just? That's what I was wondering. Is yeah, what's the, happening of, in the rest of the world? Yeah, yeah. There doesn't mm-hmm. appear to be a mayor or anything or any kind of uh, yeah person in charge. A hierarchy. Right. There's no hierarchy yeah. of, uh, of of kind of power there. It kind of all just goes to him, doesn't it? Yeah, because Phoenix eventually takes over, yeah. and after mm-hmm. Phoenix is out of the picture, then it's like, well, Edgar, Friendly, what do we do? How do we live? <laughs> resistance fighter. I guess. <laughs> yeah, you're the next guy in charge. Like, how the fuck is this <laughs> working? Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. But I'm all for the the green jelly thing that he's oh that was like that'd be fun <laughs> this movie was made at the height of dennis leary being dennis leary and you yeah. can tell because they were like here just improvise something for this whole it's scene true. Yeah. it's true yeah. that when he was when he was cast for that part they actually rewrote it because like oh we have dennis leary now we want him to rant yeah, yeah it feels so, like yeah. Just, he's yeah. like yeah. okay do it's, what you he's do he's workshopping his stand-up yeah Basically, like yeah yes. yeah yeah because I think that smoking. was like the first time that I had heard it. Well, like I knew the name, but hadn't seen his show. Right. And then, you know, Demolition mm-hmm. Man. And then you find out like, oh, all of his stuff is exactly like yeah. this. Yep. <laughs> like, oh, that's why you're, you're right. That's why you're cast in it. Yes. I think this movie has like my favorite coincidence of any movie ever, just by like prop master uh, choice. When when there be, when uh, Wesley Snipes' character, Simon Phoenix, is being unfrozen and they like look at the logs to see who else had hearings that day, <laughs> one of the prisoners in cryo jail's name is Scott Peterson. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That worked out in their favor hugely in the future. I know. Holy yeah. shit. It was, what, like nine years after this movie? Something yeah, like it was that? like 2002, Jeez. 2003 yeah. that Scott Peterson, yeah, was like tried And it was murder. in like the same area. Yeah, same was, area of California. Yeah. yeah. Like an hour yeah. from LA. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 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 Perfect. Yeah. To be fair, that's a pretty generic name. It I is, but, yeah. but that was or a really was high profile case, by though. the makers of this film. Ooh, dun, dun, dun. <laughs> Ooh yeah. we better check the other names that were on that list. Yeah, what else is yeah. on there? Well, they also <laughs> predicted that Arnold Schwarzenegger would have like a career in politics. Mm-hmm. 
It's true. And yeah. uh, I mean, he did marry they, a Kennedy. He was kind of destined <laughs> right. for I it. Think yeah. that was why, that's, right? yeah. that's why. Yeah. yeah. And I'm sure he had always said, like, one day I'll be president. Like, I'm sure that was a thing. Schwarzenegger is like declaring this <laughs> to his friends and everything. I <laughs> guarantee. I remember, because at that time, I remember thinking like that didn't seem like a. Crazy outside, you know, possibility. I right. mean, you know, when they mentioned it in this movie, like, right. what? Like, wow. it's like I realized that Stallone and Schwarzenegger are friends, and that mm-hmm. that was like an in joke, but that's clearly about mm-hmm. like political aspirations yeah. that he mm-hmm. had or must have that he was harboring. Was yeah, he had yeah. to have at that point. I'm yeah. sure he did. Yeah, this movie's got some fantastic one liners. They don't always work. A lot of them feel pretty ham fisted. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I <laughs> they're think they're hilarious. fantastic. They're so ridiculous. The yeah. entire dialogue. I'm, I swear to God, most of the, like, what are you saying? Like 60 to 70% of the dialogue in this movie is one liners. <laughs> oh, and I'm yeah. fine with that. <laughs> <laughs> I I'd live for that. I, and I why love else are you it. going to this movie? Yeah, exactly. Right? Like, right. well, right. Yeah. I mean, Cheese it up, man. If anything, I was disappointed they didn't come up with better original ones at the end instead of reusing the ones they did at the beginning. I was yeah. like, come on, or or add to it a little bit. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, very true. Yeah, yeah. Because what do you yeah. do? I don't know. Yeah, it just seemed like the dialogue was like. I'm like, wow, movies really were written just like this way back in the day. <laughs> like, yes. Written. There's nothing. Yeah. I, right. <laughs> mm-hmm. It's not improv. I mean, it is all based on like just kind of having like an upbeat tempo and a jokey kind of, uh, you know, uh, air about it. Yeah. But mm-hmm. that's it's something that stuff. like, like, but like the transform, the first Transformers movie. You know, I mean, they've done it in all. Man, of them, you really want to talk about Transformers yeah, today, yeah, don't you? It's like whenever we talk about generic, uh, you know, like action movies, it's like Transformers. I think has got to be there as the uh, Colin had an agenda coming in yeah. tonight. And he's like, we're going to talk about. It. I don't give a shit. We're watching. <laughs> what we're going to do? But it did the uh, the you know like I mean everything that comes out of Shia Le- LaBeouf's mouth is uh, you know like a, the, a joke. Like they've workshopped the jokes in that script yeah. to perfection. Even when it well per- well. They, it was funny. It was funny. Give them a lot of yeah. I mean, even the stuff that his parents say in that movie. Yes. Yeah. Oh, it's the cringeworthy. Everything really skit. is. Oh. Every single yeah. scene is a skit. Yeah, everything, but everything yeah. is a skit in this movie, I think, too. I mean, Basically. every every situation that happens. Because I'm like, these aren't even really characters. At least the Simon Phoenix character. I mean, what's, how would you make like a three dimensional character out of that, right? It's more you're carrying the brunt of the character on the personality of the actor playing him mm. on Wesley Snipes and his costume design. <laughs> his yeah, costume design hair. is like the most 90s thing yeah. com- it put into one person. He's got overalls. He's like Black Mario. Yeah, yeah, he's got basically. overalls over a like, <laughs> red mesh tank top. Yeah. yeah. And blonde, neon blonde, blonde hair. Blonde hair with a yeah. sculpt in it. It's yeah. got like a ridge going across. Right. And, and it's got like a fade on the side, too. colored eye. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Blue eye brown I think eye. I never noticed until yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Thank yeah. you, Blu-ray. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> well, in the beginning, I thought he kind of looked like the Joker or something. He had like a black and white checkered uh, right? jacket and striped I, pants. I was, yeah. yeah. I was thinking Beetlejuice. Yeah. Maybe. I'm a little bit of striped pants. Yeah. But loud, loud clothing. It was the 90s. Loud Oh, yeah. I love that this movie opened with Stallone in a helicopter saying, gotta send a maniac to catch one. And then jumping out of the helicopter yelling, Phoenix! <laughs> as he falls to the ground. What Perfect. are you doing? You're not going to get a surprise. I'm already, I'm sold. By I'm sold. His name as I am <laughs> jumping the building. This is how every cop in Los Angeles gets to work. I mean, come on. You know, you go in with the. No, but uh, this is the, what they all want now. This is like the, how, how they imagine themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Stallone. Yeah. No, it is a fantastic way of like getting to work every day. Right into the <laughs> chopper, right? jump out. You know exactly how much you know cable length. How much you length need. you need to bungee yeah. jump onto a building? Oh, is craziness. there a '90s action movie that does not feature a helicopter? No, that was that yeah, was it. That's it. Man, helicopter, helicopter budgets must have been really high. In the right, 90s. that was it. Helicopters and everything. Yeah. And I just keep going back to every lethal weapon. Like this helicopter now. Yeah. Yeah. Helicopter yeah. Hards and that helicopter yeah. now. Yeah. Die Hard hel- helicopter. You got to go for the low budget. Part two like, at a plane. Chuck Norris movies. Even those have helicopters. Part three, yeah, <laughs> helicopter. Invasion USA and all that shit. Yeah, everything had a helicopter. Well, yeah, True Lies had a helicopter. Had budget. And True man. Lies had a fucking jet. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, it did. That's because that's of James Cameron. Like, he uh, he upped it. It's like, no, I don't want... I mean, let's, we have yeah, a helicopter, not. sure, but we're also going to have a jet that destroys the helicopter. Uh-huh. 
God bless James Cameron. So, so for the role, past James Cameron, as we yeah. were discussing. Yeah, let's not go back into a James Cameron conversation. Yeah, we already had that. that was our dinner conversation. <laughs> we already uh, damned him. That's right. Watch out, or I'll bring up the Transformers. Again. <laughs> what else can you say? In comparison to this, I don't know. Give me time. I'll get to her. All right, you bring it up. You bring it up. Right. So originally, for the roles of John Spartan and and Simon Phoenix, they wanted uh, Steven Seagal for John Spartan okay, and I get that. JCVD. Ooh. For um, Simon Phoenix and yeah. Jean Claude Van Damme was like, "I'll do it if you let me be John Spartan." And Seagal's like, "Fuck no, I want to be the good guy." And so both of them <laughs> exited the project. Uh, and they went through several other people who all had the same complaint. No, I want to be the good guy. Which I was like, "This is like the funnest bad guy ever, yeah, right? Why wouldn't you want to be this bad yeah. guy?" And then even when they when they signed Stallone, they still weren't. They still wasn't sure on, on the bad guy. Um, he wanted Jackie Chan. And Jackie that Chan. Why that's why they make the Jackie yeah. Chan joke. Jackie Chan said no because he his play bad guys. his Asian audience would not like him being a bad guy. He doesn't mm-hmm. like. Mm-hmm. He doesn't yeah. play bad guys. Mm-hmm. It's not a thing. That yeah. would be a very different movie. Wow. Very. Different. Yeah. Very. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah. I'm just thinking, yeah. Like, it's a it w- significantly it w- lower yeah. budget movie with yeah. uh, Van Damme and Stigal, right. Even I though yeah. that was probably the height of their popularity but yeah, was too. They were right? popular then too. Mm-hmm. What was Under Siege was like right around the year before or something. So that was like Bloodsport was like. 88. 88. Yeah. yeah. And Universal so he, Soldier. But he would have been Soldier. Yeah. yeah. There you yeah. go. Yeah. And yeah. past the hard target and all that mm-hmm. other stuff. Uh, yeah. No helicopter. What Wait, is there? One was hard to kill. <laughs> favorite, I always bring that up. It's my favorite Seagal movie. Hard to kill is great. You is that the one in Jamaica? More than, no, that's Mark that's the for one Death. More, more than Under Siege? Out for Justice? I like Under Siege. I like Under, I like Under Siege 2 because I grew up with that one. On the train? On the train. Oh, hell yeah. That movie. That's, a, that's a great bad 90s oh, fucking that I know what we're going to be watching in a couple weeks. <laughs> that's probably. wonderful. That's coming up. It's a sequel, so it's you know Sean's going to pick it. Catherine yeah. Heigl's in that movie. Catherine yeah. Heigl wow. is in that movie. She's young. She's, She's niece. his niece. I just remember the bad guy is Eric Bogosian, who's in a great Oliver Stone movie called Talk Radio. That's all I know him from. So there you go. <laughs> Bam. Now let's drop. All right. So yeah. Go. What did you guys think about Sandra Bullock's performance in this movie? Uh, I mean, she, adequate. Uh, I mean, she does what <laughs> she's supposed to be doing. She's supposed to be she's kind a, of uh, a cheese ball fan girl. She's very yeah. cheese ball. But I mean, she's supposed to be. She's yeah. kind of. She was brought up in that future world. She has a fascination with the nineties, and which uh, is like illegal from the point of view of the. Of the movie. Yeah, which mm-hmm. I guess they just let it pass because she's got enough stuff there to put her away forever. Her I whole office. Her, her office. And her at, yeah, and her apartment yeah. and her office is covered in that. In 90s paraphernalia, just everywhere. And not necessarily good stuff, just what she can find. Right. Like, it <laughs> seems a little dim. Yeah. Yeah. I, I found her grating, but I think you're supposed to find I her think that so. way. Yeah. So. Well, yeah. I really There's a comment on her performance. more than the Rob Schneider or the Benjamin Bratt character. But they're in it for a lot less than she is. That's though. true. Like, yeah. Rob Schneider does a. Yeah. Uh, uh, laughing scene, which was pretty funny, and that's that's about it. Yeah, yeah. It fades Benjamin Brad <laughs> sings that jingle with her, and that was like, that's I'm enough, I'm done. That's enough of <laughs> yeah. you, know, Benjamin Brad. Yeah. We're good. <laughs> I forgot that they were together in this miscongeniality. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Later, mm-hmm. I was like, oh yeah, yeah you guys got a thing. Mm-hmm. You guys are friends. Mm-hmm. You don't laugh at miscongeniality. Don't laugh at me. It's a great movie. It's a good movie. Mm-hmm. Who says uh, that's what I was laughing? At? That's totally what I was laughing. Yeah, I know. It's a good movie. You, should, you shut up. It's a movie. Um. Yeah, and then all of a sudden Benjamin Bratt shows up at the end, and he's like underground guy. Now. I'm with yeah. the street toughs now. Because yeah. yeah. you know? his, his hair, little, you can yeah. tell because his hair is a little roughed up. Yeah. And he curses. Why did they completely borrow the uh, aesthetic of like Mad Max for the Morlocks or whatever the people who live underground? Because everything. when you yeah. think underground, you think Mad like Max? salvaging junk you can but find. The, I guess the scraps. Is that what they were? The scraps. The scraps. Yeah. 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 The scraps. scraps. Yeah. Yeah, which makes yeah, sense. Yeah, because the one that robbed Taco Bell was credited as Taco Bell scrap. Taco Bell scrap. Mm-hmm. Did you know? Taco you probably Bell. did. Taco Bell, which won the the, the franchise, franchise wars. wars. Yeah, yeah, the franchise wars was replaced in the international versions of this movie with Pizza Hut because nobody knows who the hell Taco Bell is outside of the United States. It's true. That's funny. That's weird because most other ones are known outside of the United States. Mm-hmm. McDonald's yeah, is definitely KFC, 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 KFC. And all yeah. but Taco Bell is strictly Mexican food American. doesn't travel. It's yeah, like no. they have their own regional yeah. wow. Indian or whatever. Yeah, I but Pizza so. Hut travels. Yeah. So my question pizza is, why everywhere. don't you just make the movie with Pizza Hut? Because Taco Bell agreed. Then you don't have to go and reshoot scenes. Because I was like, did they go and fix this in post? But every it's shot hardly. of the, dro- the, the doors of the restaurant, which is etched in glass, the Taco Bell Hut? logo. Did they bring them Pizza Hut stuff, or did they just cut out the food being brought in? 
Well, I think the food would be the same because the restaurant. It's not actually. Yeah, it's yeah. just it's not actually yeah. Taco Bell food. They serve I mean, whatever. Like, it looks like little corn and burritos, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. No. One, what is it? It was just little like balls. Of future food, dude. The truck that Fetish when they were robbing the truck, food. there was like shrimp and stuff in there. Yeah. So, but we okay. should we should shellfish. Um, yeah, they like like he because the meat that was, tub and I don't know was, like, where fish of, landed. Yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. I'm sure we can find this. Isn't that unclean or something? Yeah, you'd think. I don't know. We should really set up the scene where Rob Schneider has his great laugh because that's probably one of the best scenes in this whole fucking movie. I don't even know what you're talking so, about. okay. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> this whole thing. So, oh, no, about the three seashells. Oh, yes, right, exactly. Right, right. So, oh, yeah, John Spartan's thing. unfrozen and he's uh, adjusting to this new society. He's got to take a shit. <laughs> He I comes out of the bathroom. Future people still shit. Yep. Yeah. He comes out of the bathroom and leans over to Sandra Bullock and says, you're out of toilet paper. And all the cops, Rob Schneider, they all have a fucking laughing fit saying, he doesn't know about the three seashells. And so, you know, John Spartan's like, what the fuck? Three, three seashells, you know, figures out pretty quickly that if he swears a bunch, he can get paper from the <laughs> machine that writes you tickets if you swear and goes and wipes his ass with those tickets. A joke I so, did as a young child. <laughs> Yeah, I can see that going right there. <laughs> no? no? I mean, oh. no. Oh. It's like, how is, why is he cursing? Even I got that. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh, it's paper. Not. So mm. paper. I know the answer to this. Do you guys know how the three seashells actually work? Yeah. Okay. You, I read you this one know? day, but I have yeah. forgotten. Yeah. It's pretty gross, but. Yeah, okay. It's in, All right. I remember it yeah. now. I yeah. remember. Oh, yeah. how they work? Yeah. How you how you actually use them as toilet paper, the three oh, seashells? I, I, heard, I heard Stallone's theory, which was disgusting. It's, but you know, it's, that's, that's probably we're, the one. We're yeah, all it's in been agreement. Proven, Sandra yeah. Bullock's theory. Yeah. yeah. The MTV movie. I've awards heard that too. Yester, There's like an official thing now. Yeah. It's, it's like a diagram. Two, two of them are like chopsticks that pull the turd yeah. out, <laughs> and then the third one scrapes <laughs> the leftover. That's what? that's how they are used, which is somehow in the future better than toilet paper. Why is that better? Yeah, uh, it's not. She toilet paper was not making us a violent society. Yeah. What did she say? Well, she said it was obvious. There was one, a number one, a number two, and a cleanup. Yeah. It, it's all bullshit. She says, like, there's your not, day. <laughs> yeah. There's not an actual reason. Yeah, how no, do you say but how do they, they just put it in how there. How do they get sanitized? I don't know. They're future things. You, they have walls that clean things. graffiti but off But they're just sitting them. on a shelf, though. <laughs> You no, just it, put your shitty seashells back on the shelf when you're done. Do but do you know? Do you know <laughs> how they suck the... the shit right out of your ass <laughs> and then spray? No, I don't know. Thank you Future for joining time. us, listeners, <laughs> for this uh, in-depth conversation about the seashells. I'm glad you're here. The you seashells. Want, this the, is the question that everybody the wants. Seashells, to it really about is. The, movie the seashells movie. are meaningless. Daniel Waters, the writer. They are actually meaningless. Yeah. Daniel Waters, the writer was the, trying to think of a funny thing to put in the bathroom to confuse Sylvester Stallone. He's in his own bathroom. He's trying to think of it. He makes a call to his buddy, who's also a screenwriter, says, I need to come up with a futuristic thing to put in the bathroom in this movie I'm writing to confuse my character. What What do we do? And the guy's in his... Uh, the other guy on the other end of the phone is in his bathroom, taking his shit, talking on the phone. He looks around says... I got a bag of seashells. He goes, all right, I'll make something out of it. <laughs> all right. That's, that's amazing. the seashells. That is yeah. exactly how I expected yep. that that's that it. happened. I always thought it was because uh, my grandparents, I don't know how, but both sets of them always had little decorative soaps on the back of the toilet, and they yeah. were always seashells. And I never oh, understood yeah, why. Yeah, they was so always cool. there. Well, it's a mm-hmm. nautical theme. I don't know. I you're in a bathroom so. and you're You've with got water. It. I like yeah. Colin's bathroom with seashells. Yeah. <laughs> just little, little seashell soap in both <laughs> sets of grandparents' houses. No, mm-hmm. my grandma had seashell soaps too. That's just the thing you there did. You that's I think what I they did. It. It's because there you're it in a room that's full of water. You're in the water closet. I mean, technically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's very true. Water, nautical, seashells. Sure. There it is. Next thing, lighthouses. Yeah, fishing nets. You're just describing Colin's the bathroom. Describing the bathroom. <laughs> In great detail. Yeah, this is where it goes. Sex helmets. Yeah. Sex, sex helmets. It's going to be our bring us back to focus. Sex helmets. Yeah, right. Sex yes. helmets. Well, in the future, yeah, there's an amusing scene. We've probably seen the movie where they have sex is outlawed. People don't uh, touch, touch anymore. They don't. Uh, everybody procreates through going to a lab. This nice. is all like lifted directly from Brave New World, right? I mean, this movie is yeah. just like taking, I wouldn't say it's like not, it doesn't draw from it heavy enough to actually be considered like yeah, it's mashing not, up Brave It's not New like World loosely with, based on Brave uh, New, no, Brave I don't know New this World. Brave some New of World these. Really? No, I don't. Aldous Huxley? You should read it. Mm-mm, no. 
It was banned in schools. Oh, mm-hmm. really? Oh, yeah. I'm all for that. Yeah. Not it the is... banning of things in schools, but the no. reading of banned books. Yeah. It's about a guy who is a sa- – well, he's not the main character, but a guy who is a savage who lives a savage compared to Comparatively, the yes. quote-unquote civilized – Like Stallone was Which is what they call him in this movie. Yeah. yeah. Who gets uh, <laughs> brought into a civilized society where everybody is like, ooh, look at the wild savage man who's basically just, you know, a, a regular right. person right. brought into yeah. the future. And then uh, – yeah, I think by the end of it, I don't think it ends good for him. But no. yeah, I mean, no, don't no. Him. But I think that's the general gist of the novel, right? Yeah. Just kind of poking fun at like all of these things that you know, ooh, you reproduce like you know right. the natural way. That's like uh, inhuman. You know, I think one of the slurs that he throws at somebody is to call him father. That's like one of the worst things that you can say, and you know, because people don't have this. It's that whole sure group think utopia and they live in a utopia and don't know that it you know that there's any uh any problem with this that's mm-hmm. in the movie uh demolition man what makes it kind of interesting is like you've got a utopia that's it's not totalitarian but it has this central figure at the head of it mm. you know and so that's where it's kind of like okay so even though he's engineered the perfect utopia he wants to recruit simon phoenix to help him Purge the uh, the criminal element, mm. which are all these free thinking people who, led by um, Dennis Leary, d- the Dennis Leary character, yeah. Edgar Friendly, right? <clears throat> Edgar Friendly, yes. Who have been, you know, robbing? Well, basically, I mean, that's the thing. They're they're not even. They haven't been like forced 64. underground, right? They just mm-hmm. choose they just chose to live to, underground yeah. because they don't want to live by the rules of society, right? And, I, and in doing like so, then they there's to a feed fuck ton of people down to, there too. Yeah. It is packed. And down it seems there. like the rest of society just lets them live under there. They don't necessarily mm-hmm. like them, but they're not like sending squads down there to like hunt them down and kill them. They're mm-hmm. just like, all right, live under there. Well, that made me wonder about like, like what the there's nobody to send. There's no squad of people to send under there because not, in this future, like I I keep uh, every time I see this movie, I'm like. What qualifications do these police officers have to be police officers other than it's like, I want to be a police officer. But when okay. there's no crime, well, you know, what are you doing if you're a cop? Basically nothing in this in this movie. Right. So yeah. they don't it, know they don't, to... their, their standards are pretty low because you don't have, have to actually do anything. Right. But they've never had any training either. No, because like, they don't know how to yeah. deal with Wesley Snipes when he breaks out. Well, because when it's like Maniac. there's a 187, they're like. Well, what's a 187? And they kind of offload that, as I suppose, in the way that we do with a lot of things. You go look it up on mm-hmm. their Google, Thanks right? to rap, we all know what a 187 <laughs> is. Yeah. There's <laughs> a movie. There's a Sam Jackson in it, 187. So, oh. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, For those of you who don't know, it's a murder-death kill. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which brings up a whole other thing in this movie. The fucking language in this movie is insane. Like, yeah. Joy, these, joy. They go out of their way to make things TikToks. more complicated. More complicated. Like, yeah. Like a, f- a phone is a fiber optic. I'll fiber optic you back was what she said to <laughs> a guy at some point. Oh boy. Car is a conveyance. Yeah. Yeah. And then everything is just super textbook definition. Right. And explanations. Right. And they're lengthening words. Like it's almost yeah. more effort to do their stupid slang than it is to just speak regular words. Yeah. yeah. A homicide is a murder death kill. Murder death mm-hmm. kill. TikTok. An MDK as some people call it. Which oh, yeah. Is- yeah. TikTok is great. Yeah. TikTok. Well, what's the point of like changing the language like that? Is it just to, you know, separate that society from ours? So through the Sylvester Stallone character, we're just like, this is an alien world that he's in. As an element of the movie, yes. It's to make the the future world more alien to him. Because they have to change it somehow. So he's not just walking back into people speaking the same language and just kind of acting differently. They're trying to make it more of a man out of time. So they make the future different in ways that, you know, maybe not necessarily would happen, but are obviously like, oh, this is how they speak. It's different. This is how they dress. It's different and all that. But it has so, yeah. like this. The the side effect of this is like it makes the actors all like extremely uncomfortable because they have to like chew through this like just bizarre. Like nobody yeah. has mm-hmm. ever spoken like this yeah. in the history of man. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> So it's that's like, I think it's, it's why like it's like Sandra yeah. Bullock comes off a little bad. Right. It's like, but her and all everybody who's not Stallone or Wesley Snipes comes off as bad because they're spouting all this gobbledygook that's like just it's, silly. It's kind of funny because it's almost like um like a modern dumbed down Shakespeare because Shakespeare wrote Kinda, like that yeah. too. Yeah, he that's wrote true. everything very long and very um expanded in, in everything. 
So it's kind of like that, except it's yeah, but there was in the reverse. The pentameter man, he had a rhythm. Right, that's true. true. No, I'm not true. true. I'm not saying it's equal to Shakespeare. Yeah. I'm just saying it's yeah. How you, dare you say it's equal to Shakespeare? Oh my god! I would never say that about Bill yeah. ever. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys think Murder Death Kill was like a placeholder in the script, and then it just they never got changed it. out? Right. Yeah. Murder, they were like, death, oh, we'll come up with another word something. later, and they just, so it was just like murder slash death kill. They like, did like a slashes in between. Like we'll come up with. They did like a search and replace on their computer and one got missed and they're like we're leaving it yeah fuck it we're leaving yeah. it yeah it's like why'd you say homicide when you could say well all three of yeah, could, they... homicide could mean all three of these a murder a death and a kid no you can't death okay mm-hmm. yeah yeah that's, but a murder uh, always results in a death I have a, <laughs> I have a theory there was like four writers that worked on this uh, it was each one of theirs version I that's started my, reading my the theory. original guy's script did you a little bit yeah and it was very different. The names were all different. It was Wade versus, I think it was still a Simon, but he didn't have the Simon Phoenix thing going on. And Simon says, do this Simon or whatever. But, I love oh, that. Yeah. I yeah. love that so much. Daniel, if, if you ever Simon have a bad guy it. in the 90s and his name is Simon, Simon says is going to come up. Like yeah. Die, die Hard, hard 3. Yeah, yeah. The that. other really good Die Hard movie. No, Daniel yeah. Waters, when he got a hold of this, he Brave New World the shit out of it. Mm-hmm. He really did. So is he yeah. the one who brought that element? He did. In? Yeah, it was all him. he named the character mm-hmm. Huxley, obviously. So it was all him. Yeah, Joel, Joel Silver came in and he just exploded it. He, yeah. he threw money at the other people. Was like, "Get the fuck out! This is this is Daniel's. This is Daniel's now. We're done." Yeah, I'm gonna go blow some shit. Yeah, up. Daniel Back. Waters had written Joel Silver's passion project, Hudson Hawk. That's right. Oh, wow, yeah. he did. Well, he also I did love it. Oh. He did Heather's, which is why everyone says greetings and salutations. It's a, it's oh, a nod wow. to Heather's. Oh really? Oh, shit. Yeah. I'm telling you, everyone puts their own shit in this movie. Yeah, yeah. the whole wow. thing. <laughs> no kidding. They're like, well, oh, this is mine. This had, is like, mine. Everybody was, you know, there were certain ways of, you know, it was like an invented teen speak. Mm-hmm. Mm. So I think maybe that was what he was known That's for. That's so his like, thing. Yeah. Like he yeah. makes his, his own language. Words. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The action scene in this movie, um, what do you think? Competent. Fuck yeah. Uh, better than I average. Mean, just awesome. Go. I would, I mean, they're just, it's definitely what you expect from a 90s action. Yeah. You I have mean, to... they start out, like we said, blowing up a building, uh, fucking Stallone. It's the biggest quote, unquote, building explosion I've ever seen. Yeah. It's a big building. Yeah. yeah. yeah they blow that shit they up. They blow yeah. it up. If, if you come into this with the 90s mindset mm-hmm. and not think watching it in 2017, but think of watching it in 1993, yeah, it kicks ass. What Even still, it looks good on Blu ray. It's aged pretty well. Like, I think. Sorry, I had to go out there. Now, this is the nostalgia factor. I get it. I have those yeah, movies. Yeah. I've seen, I saw this back in the day. Can you imagine living in this era in a time? Wait, nineteen ninety three. Yeah, nineteen ninety three. In the did. in the area. Well, hold on, hold on. In the area of giant action, in in as part of the industry, and getting into a slump in in uh, um, what should we call it? Uh, buildings that were not condemned. <laughs> like to get into the slump it's of like country. there's nothing in LA. No, that was like Kentucky or something. Ah. Uh, that wasn't LA where they shot. The- I mean, I suppose so. You just got to find a big ass building. They just got to find a big building. There's always one coming down somewhere. Yeah. Ooh, do you think they have like a guy they call for that? They have like a big sure. empty building guy. They're like, hey, he can hook us I up. I guarantee you, Joel has building. one. Oh yeah. <laughs> guarantee you. Chuck, I need a building. Him up probably. Like, yeah. Hey, I saw you blow up the movie. <laughs> Yeah, then he did quiet. the Matrix and blew out all the windows and that went, no, I don't know. <laughs> we should talk about Wesley Snipes going to the museum. That has some interesting moments I in think it. we haven't talked about Wesley Snipes enough. Yeah. Like, Probably we not. Just, yeah, we we just need yeah. to talk. He's great. I love anytime he's fighting, there are record scratches with, lined up with his punches. Yes. Uh, yeah, we got very 90s that was in great. his first fight sequence with the cops outside of the... <laughs> and that music. Oh. Jesus. So great. So, yeah. so great. So great. So very great. <laughs> Colin's like, you're all insane. Yeah. Insane. Insane. Like painful in that, yeah. But, he's so it. animated. He's, you can't not yeah, have those sound effects. That's what I'm saying. You need it. But I, the, I'm trying to, well, maybe I shouldn't, uh, divorce the character <laughs> from the actor. It's like Wesley Snipes. I mean, this is like young Wesley Snipes before the Troubles, right? Yeah. Like, and before the diva behavior or whatever that he became known for later on. It's like, this was is like, hey, hey, let's talk nicely about the man. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry. <laughs> no, we, uh, yeah, Mr. we need Snipes. to take a minute. And, well, yeah. I was about to. Thank you for like, listening. As a, uh, you know, as an actor, well, I mean, he'd had like his dramatic stuff in the Spike Lee movies and that. But like. You know, he has a physicality to him, which I think, you know, because you're like, well, who do you put against Sylvester Stallone? Right. You know, he Mm -hmm. can he's a capable uh, athletic 
performer, but he's also got like this kind of boisterous personality, which mm-hmm. I think like also helps, you know, which is weird that he did Blade where you basically have to do the opposite. Right. Mm-hmm. He's very right. toned down. Yeah. It's like, so, why did you want to do Blade? Because it's, it's like, awesome. So aside from <laughs> Demolition Man, it's a favorite Wesley Snipes movie. Passenger Since 57. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. That is a good one. That's that a good a, one. That, that is a good one. Probably Blade. Probably Blade. Yeah. I love Blade. Yeah. 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 All right, take away Blade. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's, too, that's too obvious. <laughs> I was like, are you insane? It's Blade. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody see Drop Zone? Oh, oh my no. God. Drop Zone? Drop yes. Zone? I love Drop Zone. <laughs> Wesley, if you're listening, I love Drop yeah. Zone. Please, he make a be. sequel to Drop Zone. <laughs> that's a good move. I just want to see him make more movies where he can be this insane and off the walls. I love, like it. I love it. But they, that, has that era of movies just gone by? I like, think you can't so, make sadly. Stuff like this I think, anymore. But I, that's almost what I think, like, in the 1990s, in this era. We're saying in 1993, yeah. I think that era was coming to its end. I almost see this entire movie as kind of like... The Last Gasps? Yeah, because it is like the action movie genre and the strongman action hero, right? Like. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Is from the point of view of the film. Last Action Hero was 1993. That kind of signaled a yeah, yeah. a death knell of this kind of movie, didn't mm-hmm. it? What, but, and then, but after that was uh, Shane Black was kind of that whole era. Was that before, during this time, 1993? What are we talking about with Shane Black? Because he wrote lethal, the Lethal Weapon movies, right? Mm-hmm. But also like uh, Long Kiss Goodnight, Last Boy Scout. What years were these movies? 90, uh, 90, it was Last Boy Scout was 91, somewhere in there, 91, okay. 92. But I guess, you know, uh, the point I was trying to make is that it seems like the characters in the film regard the action hero as this kind of, like, outdated, antiquated, you know, mm-hmm. creature yeah. who solves all of his problems by storming in with both barrels blazing, you know, mm-hmm. and like, this is intolerable behavior. Yes. But the argument of the movie, which I think goes back to like, I mean, this, it feels like this is, you know, the, 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 the cult of personality around both Stallone and Joel Silver is that, and you know, it's a voice, I think given voice by the Dennis Leary character mm-hmm. is mm-hmm. that, you know, it's like, this is like the true free expression of, you know, the, the last, like, you know, it's like the motorcycle guys or something like that. Yeah. It's like, you know, the, the freedom, or the defenders of freedom. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So what's the well, snipes at the museum? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, every time I yeah. talk, but I no, kill I the conversation. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And like you're saying, like the equivalent of that, since you were saying that this was kind of like this era of movie making on its way out, like mm-hmm. Wesley Snipes and Stallone at this point represent that in this movie mm-hmm. as the actors. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I get that. Yeah. 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 Makes sense. So that's why there wasn't like a whole bunch, because you were saying, bemoaning the fact that they don't make, they didn't make stuff right. like this after this. And that's why these guys didn't have really that so. opportunity or especially mm-hmm. Snipes, who I think was on his way up while Stallone was on his way you know, whatever. This is like sure. the midpoint of the career before the the fall of like before. I mean, uh, daylight or you yeah, know, right? Like, yeah, I mean, Copland <laughs> and what Ooh. have you. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Copland's mm-hmm. a good movie. That's what I hear. It's a good movie. It's just it's not an action film. No, sure. But well, that's what I'm saying. Like he, as far he as taking I'm getting action older, roles, right. and I need to. It's you know, the older roles. Dramatic, so. Stallone. Yeah, he would go back and revisit some of his stuff later on. Rambo and whatnot. Yeah, Obviously, after like Rocky, Get but Carter, that's, and right? But that's the Angelo down. Oh, Get that. Carter like, and Drive and shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. A different era of Stallone. Yeah. Where, like, yeah, you're right. This stuff wasn't around anymore. It's just like nobody wanted to see that. And after the Blade movies, like uh, Wesley Snipes, then that was it. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm, well, pretty like, much. But he's correct us stuff. if we're wrong, Mr. Snipes. Oh. Yeah, please. please, please, please I'm do. not saying that was it. I'm just saying as far as like we big want stuff. you back. Yeah, come on. What? Nobody seen Gallo Walker. No, no, nope, can't no. say I have. <laughs> was he in Expendables? I thought he was Any in of one of them. He was in one of them, right? I thought he was yeah, in the first the third or one? second one. Third one. No, no, no. <laughs> uh, Mr. Here. Snipes, please yes. help us. Correct us. <laughs> Wesley, <laughs> come on, we know it you're listening. Seems like... <laughs> Damn it, was he? he? Was in, like, yeah. It's he was Antonio in Banderas, right? But that's All like right. the part that would have been the Wesley Snipes part. Or Snipes right. was in uh, two. Look it up, Holly. Yeah, I am, we should yeah. know this. Yeah. We should. I know he was Looking in it. it like it's yeah. or, It has to be a thing. If Mel Gibson was in one, he was in one, right? Yeah. He would, okay, he's the I would hope guy. so. Well, then, then Wesley Snipes <laughs> was, he deserves. Three. He was in three. I knew it. Mm-hmm. He was in part three. There you go. Yeah. yeah. You remember it so well. Yeah. Oh, I, I, I didn't see any of those. 
Snipes. All right, so Wesley sorry, Snipes. Guys. Wesley in Snipes the museum. The museum. He's going in to get museum. a gun, and uh, this is the only place you can find guns in this society is in a museum. And when he walks in, he's like at this terminal. And there's a group of Asian children oh that God. walk oh by God. him. And Wesley Snipes, if you're listening, this is not a criticism of you or no. any actor choice you may have made. Uh, <laughs> in our minds, we're going to believe that this was in the script. Sure. <laughs> um, <laughs> he looks at the Asian people walking by in kimonos and rice patty hats and goes ching, ching, chong, chong at them as they walk by. God. Really weird moment in this movie because it just... It's just weird. It doesn't fit in with anything. It doesn't line up with anything I, we know about. I maintain, not that, I not maintain that it makes it right. The, I maintain that it was method acting. Well, we came up he, with the whole story yeah. as to this movie. So he's been frozen, right? Yeah. And when he when he was existing, that's last, what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So for all he knows, this is, like everyone's wearing kimonos and shit in the future. They they've all taken over, and he feels you know like they're right. closing in on him. You know. Yeah. So, right. Yeah. And not to say that it was right for him to feel that way but, earlier on, but right. that is still the same way he feels this far it's, into the future. Exactly. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And it's a horrible future where you have to wear kimonos all the time. Yeah. Am I right? Am I right? And he, fashion yeah. sense wanna, kimonos are yeah. kimonos shit. are comfortable as shit. I yeah. mean, I'm sure they are. And who doesn't want to be comfortable? I'm just napping awesome. all the time. Yeah. I want to nap all the time anyway. So. I mean, don't we all? That's <laughs> yeah. half the reason I get dressed up is just to keep me awake. Yeah, that's true. What, was that, wasn't that part of the museum called like a history of violence or something like that? It had a really cool the, it was name. Yeah. It had a really yeah. cool name. Yeah, I was like, awesome. The fu- yeah. What the fuck was it called? It but, was something the violence, like Hall of Violence. Yeah, Hall of Violence. Yeah. Hall of Violence. Yeah. Hall of Violence. Yeah. That's well, it's cool. like the Hall right of Justice. It. The Hall yeah. of Violence yeah. is yeah. the opposite. Yes. Yeah, I'd go, I'd go to that museum. Did you right? I would too. It being weird that for police who have no training that Sandra Bullock somehow made Magically acquired the ability to do martial arts. By she didn't magically do she it. She watched Jackie Chan movies. She watched Jackie Chan movies. Come on. She wasn't good at it. She wasn't, but she kicked Come the guy on. in the nuts like six times. That was her karate. No, like, right. it could be <laughs> done. You a scene from Dumb and Dumber there. Yeah. Yeah. It can be what's done. Your, your, <laughs> I roundhouse kicked my brother before just from watching up. movies. Yeah. It can nice. be done. It's, that's true. She, she wasn't that skilled at it. She really wasn't. Who didn't try roundhouse kicking people after seeing like uh, Lethal Weapon Three? Right. Tries to show Murtaugh how to do yeah. the roundhouse kick. Yeah. Right. How many times I did I try myself. that on my brother? We yeah. tried it a lot. Yes. <laughs> That's I, what we did. I fact, successfully did it. As far as watching movies and mimicking them, oh shit! Demolition yeah, Man was argument. one of them. Yeah. yeah. Where, where snipes movies are bad because where he's in the copy it. Yeah, but I'm not actually going to shoot people. Or, no, but I you mean, fucking roundhouse kicked your brother. I That's feel different. He did it to me too. That's but no, different. like it was when we're playing, you know, when you kids play guns back mm-hmm. in the day, like I was Wesley Snipes when he does the to the guns and he goes out yeah. shooting. I did that a lot when I was a kid. Yeah, it's just what you do. Yeah, he seems like he's having so much fun in this. Movie. He does. I love so that. Much yeah. He's having fun. He okay. So this is like biscuits and gravy. This is this is from Dennis Leary. He said that. Wesley Snipes was so adamant about doing his own stunts. He would do the stunt, and then after he left, they would redo it with some people <laughs> and, like, not tell him. Uh, well, and did, you, from did you read Larry, the thing though? about, like, his punches and kicks in the movie? Oh, yeah, they were yeah. too fast. But he's, oh, really? like, a third-degree Couldn't black belt. Couldn't capture it on camera? Yeah, yeah. No, he had to, no, s- he had to slow it down. Yeah, he's a third-degree black belt, and, like, they looked weird on camera because he punches and kicks yeah. so fast. So that's why he's, like, kind of jerky with this punch. Yeah. So, hmm. He yeah. literally so, had to slow it down. Too fast for 90 cameras, yeah. Mm-hmm. Couldn't, yeah. they, couldn't they not capture Bruce Lee on camera? Yeah, Isn't that a thing? It's too fast. Mm-hmm. It's too fast. Too fast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, did he have to slow? I think, that I think was he was funny. Yeah. 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 Urban yeah. legend. It's like yeah, slow it down, yeah, Bruce. It's like too, it's fast too fast to be caught on the camera. Yeah. Yeah. Just like Jackie Chan mm-hmm. in Rush Hour. Yeah. Or whoever are you, are you like fights. Uh, well, well, there's that scene with Chris Tucker. Which one are you going to hit me? You know, which one? Jackie Chan. Well, Jackie Chan was Bruce Lee standing. This has turned into like a Wesley Snipes love fest. Who doesn't? Why don't we have? Why don't you? We have a good reason. (laughs) I do. I said I did like Wesley Snipes. Okay, let's just let's just put it out there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Go for it. Wesley Snipes (laughs) may have liked (laughs) Michaela's post on Instagram. Yeah, about wait, Demolition about, Man. About, about that we were okay. going to watch Demolition Man. I posted that we were watching Demolition Man, and if anyone wanted us to explain the three seashells or any other questions about this movie, let us know. Wesley Snipes liked that post, which can only mean one of two things. He's either, he is an avid listener of the Freak Show. He's yes. either an avid listener of the Freak Show. every week. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He tells his friends about us. Yeah. 
And so we have famous fans. So yeah. we'll have him uh, introducing the show, I'm sure. I sh- of course. Like, yeah. I'm, I'm Wesley Snipes, and you're listening to the Saturday Night Free Show. Yeah. I messaged him. I'm sure he'll get back to me soon. Right. Oh, yeah. Yeah. He's busy, yeah. so he'll take yeah. him a little bit, yeah. but he'll get back to mm-hmm. us. Yeah. Yeah. I also I mean, messaged him. He's going to hate he? us by the time <laughs> yeah. this is done. Yeah. It's like, who are these people? We're going to get a restraining order. <laughs> oh, right, even so. better. So it's the gonna podcast, be up to me Wesley to, like, Snipes doesn't after. want you to hear. Oh, yes. Bring it. Bring it. Perfect. Please file one against oh, us. Oh, yes. please. Yes. That's, that's what we need. That's better. We need yeah. people to sue I like that us. better. We need an anti-endorsement. Yeah. yeah something. Yeah. Well, you know, Adam Carolla also liked her post. Also. Now, now we're just yeah. name dropping. Yeah. Now we're getting um, cocky. Yeah. Not, near, not nearly as cool. No Because offense. I think I he's saying, a Wesley what? Snipes fan. That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's, that's, that's got to be it. He yeah. hates us, but well, Wesley because Snipes. Because I could backtrack Wesley Snipes finding this post because I hashtag Wesley Snipes and Demolition Man. Makes of sense. Course. But how the fuck did Adam Carolla find his way to this post? That's because what I want to know. Because they both were looking Adam Wesley Snipes, Snipes hashtags. hashtags. <laughs> <laughs> so what's Wesley because Snipes in, up to? Because what's in 1993, 1993 Adam Carolla was the shit. He had Loveline. He had um, The Man Show. He was big back oh, then. that's really sad when you put it that way. So he's like browsing yes. photos on Instagram to like relive well, the glory so days. Snipes is doing. And Adam Carolla, if I'm wrong, but, tell me I'm wrong. But he was but in I'm this not. movie, Adam Carolla. This is so tangentially related. It's Very just from true. the same time period. Yeah. That's all it is. Yeah, those were his glory days. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, man, he likes yeah. what he likes, and that's, that doesn't yeah. change over that's, 20 yeah. years. That's when he took the team to state. I, I will wel- <laughs> hey, I will welcome any and all famous people, certified accounts liking my post. Yeah, Bring sure. it, you know. Spread the word, <laughs> folks. Well, why not? Yeah, as yeah. long as they hit the retweet button. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that would be better, Mr. Snipes, yeah. if you do that next All right, we got to get out of this. So does that bring us to the end so there's no love for Sylvester Stallone in this movie. No, I think he's. I mean, he we're does. Not, we're not does tagging what, the slice. He does Stallone what Sylvester Stallone does. I don't think does. he's on the internet as much. <laughs> he is. What the hell are you talking as about? As much. I don't think. I he's don't on think all the time posting pictures about his girls doing their whatever. Oh, is the he really? Yeah, but he's but he's the guy who gets on social media to post stuff, not to yeah. react to anything. Else. I don't. Just, I don't think he's going to be browsing Demolition Man hashtags. No. I, it's if anything, it's probably Rocky or something. You never better. know. Maybe this is his favorite movie. I doubt it. But so. But actually. Why did he I, doubt? Well, this because be. he would have made four of them if it was. Actually, Very Sylvester true. Stallone said that the hours filming the uh, cryogenic scene were the worst five hours of his film career. Did he have to be yeah, in that? He, yeah, because he probably had to like, fake drown, which he is awful. He had to like fake drown oh, in this sure. horrible claustrophobic tank, and he's all naked in KY Jelly. Yeah. Uh. It was like five hours. He said it was the worst part of his so career. So why did he want to memorialize then playing at Hollywood then? Like, He's like, I, 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 I worked yeah. my ass off and suffered for this shit. It's going up so yeah. everybody can see it. Yeah. Yeah. If I have the story about it, then yeah. it'll yeah. make the whatever. Plan. This is yeah. a great we prop. Make it valuable. Like a pla- is it, is it, is there a version There's gotta of be one it? on eBay somewhere, yeah. right? Yeah, like, he's in it. It's yeah, in, it's, he's, he's in, in it. Well, yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. But, right. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. But yeah, if you have that, you show that off. You're damn right. If anyone's Prime. selling one, please message us. Did you see his butt? Of course he wants to show that. <laughs> yeah. Look at me on yeah. Look at that dick. That's a great. <laughs> Are they anatomically correct? You'll find they out don't. when you order one on eBay. Yeah. I'm sure they have to be yeah. somewhere, yeah. or at least There's they've gone through the Because process. every Planet Hollywood had one, so. Oh. How many Planet Hollywoods were there? At least 10? Probably. I don't know. Yeah. Probably. Play around there. I don't know. I wonder. Mm-hmm. It couldn't have been too many. Just mm-hmm. in the big cities. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so is that... Yeah. Wrap up, Demolition Man. <laughs> I mean, he kicks his head off. Uh, and it's awesome. <laughs> he keeps his promise from the beginning of the movie. And, Can't ask for much yeah. more than that. And Sting takes us out. Sting yeah, takes Sting us takes out. out. <laughs> With a horrible Do you want to sing a bit of, of that the, for a uh, show? I didn't. I can't remember it now. I can't remember the uh, the melody. Dead demolition. Heat. <laughs> dead heat. Dead heat. That's the only one I can remember. Like, <laughs> stay, stay out of the way of the demolition man. It was something like that. Yeah, terrible. I don't remember no, how it goes. I, no I was singing it and for you were good, singing it like all the way up until we started recording. Yeah. There was no ballad of Harry Warden ever. No. no. Damn no. Shit. Hell no. I, I would sing it for you, folks, if I could remember the melody. Dead heat. You remember two words. Dead heat. That's what I was telling them earlier. Like verse. You had to, the songs of these era, like they they consisted of one to four words, and that's all they needed because they needed to just be catchy for you to remember it. Yeah. Usually they consisted of the title of your movie, so they they could advertise the song and the movie at the same time. Yeah. Mm. Very simple stuff. Yeah. That's all you needed, and thank God for it. And I still can't remember it. <laughs> are they doing that now? Where's the Avengers theme? Avengers are coming to save the day. No, that has no that's, that's score. Like, that's the score. Trey Parker and Bummer. Matt Stone version of it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah no that's kidding. what that sounded like. Yeah. <laughs> the coming to save the day. Yeah. <laughs> they don't do that. Mm. I wish I would buy that soundtrack. No, right. like you look- say that every week, but you never buy any soundtracks. I bought one. <laughs> 
What'd you buy? That thing. It wasn't the My Bloody Valentine, which it I think wasn't. we have recorded. He said, I'd buy that. I would buy that. I'm just not there yet. Do I have to buy it right away? Jesus. <laughs> the answer is yes. No, okay. Igor, an where are mind. you with our mail, sir? Masters, masters, the mail. I've got the mail. So many letters. Our followers are rising, rising. Why, thank you, Igor. Thanks, Igor. We should get him overalls and a mesh tank top. He's, he's wearing a little that. beret. He's, <laughs> oh, he's got the, yeah. you know, the John Spartan beret. The John Spartan which, Spartan which made its appearance again in Expendables. Oh, I think that's just a Stallone thing, isn't it? Now I think he's so. losing his hair. Probably. No, I don't yeah, know. I don't know. Yeah. And he's old. He's like seventy, isn't he? Yeah, he's fucking yeah. old. God, he looks, so he looks old. good though. In this movie, mm-hmm. they talk about him being seventy-four. Not far off now, am I right? He looks much better mm-hmm. in this movie. Yeah. So about Demolition Man, Nicholas Capriola writes in and says, this is one of my favorite movies to watch. You're damn Agreed. right, Caps. You're yeah. damn right. Ryan Burrett writes in and says, I love this movie. It is hilarious. It is, it is. Ryan. Thank you. These so are all statements bias, of fact. Right? Yeah. <laughs> so these, are these questions? Or, yeah. Well, I, you said you can write, write in anything. Right. Where? Yeah. Where? On Facebook. Dot com slash Saturday Night Freak Show. Twitter. We did this. At Saturday Freak Show. Did this, yeah. And email. Saturday Night Freak Show at Yahoo.com. Right. And someone named Tobias Scott. That's a nice name. Who's that guy? Yeah. Says, Seems like a cool guy. Yeah. How do you think the three seashells work? Well, well, well Tobias. Yeah, we have, yeah, we got that question. Uh, the Elusive Man writes in and says, Ha ha, oh, we new. just had a discussion on the Future Monkeys podcast regarding Ooh. three seashells and how they work. He did this to plug his own podcast. Yep. Nice. You son of a bitch. We'll, we'll take we should, it. We should redact that. We should <laughs> we make it bleep it, it out. <laughs> uh, about our episode, Leprechaun G Money writes in. G Money. He says, Leprechaun 1 is a classic. 2 and 3 I watch more often. Warwick Davis is as good in 1 as he was in Willow, but stay away from Leprechaun Origins. Uh, Nobody loves the hood. No, we can't get any love for I the love hood. The hood. I, I might, I might really like the hood, and if I watch it, I'm sure mm-hmm. it's yeah. Know, did he just funny skip over two movies? Racial? Yeah, he did. The two, uh, yeah. the he two. He didn't even in mention in space. No, <laughs> isn't that is that <laughs> that's, three? That's four. That's four. That's four. Oh, oh shit! Three is when he goes. Your th- three is when he goes to Vegas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, about our episode, Dune. Chris Huddleston writes in and says, "I haven't read Dune or seen the movie yet, but so just reading the description <laughs> that you posted ah, gotcha. on your Facebook." Has me confused. Thanks for the jello. <laughs> there's, a re- there's a reason for that, Chris. All right. Nice. Uh, he says, thanks for the giallo recommendations. Shudder has both movies that we recommended, and they're both very good. You need a spinoff giallo show. No. Um, I say yes. We're doing it, and it's going to be called, uh, no. I don't know, e- uh, giallo shots. No. Okay. Uh, <laughs> Did you just call <laughs> Did you just come up with that Did right now? Did you just do no. that? No. I was going to oh. say, no I'm not way. that. I'm not oh that smooth. Oh, my God. Did you steal that from someone? Probably. Oh, my God. God. That is, uh, I, that you really, should have just claimed it as brilliance. Because yeah, really, copyright. Shots. I, really thought wow. that, I really thought that was the most clever you've that's, ever been. <laughs> never. That would have been Oh, it. that's what it feels like? when you, Yeah, yeah that was okay. it. Oh, my God. see why people do it. Bask in it, Colin. Just bask in it. Wow. Okay, then we've got from our- Thanks, Chris Huddleston. Yeah. Yeah, thanks, Chris. And from our Ghoulies 2 episode. Holy shit. Wow. Going back a little bit. Going back. Cesar Resendez says in Cesar? Spanish, so translated by Facebook, oh, baby you. geniuses and the Ghoulies. It's strange to know that at one time they dominated the cinemas. Today they are pure garbage. Truth. It's also possible <laughs> that he said something about baby geniuses and Ghoulies. It's strange that, uh, you know, at one time they were considered shit and now... Everything else is pure garbage? We don't know. But I read it because you sent it in. Uh, well, thank, thank you, you, Cesar. We need a Spanish-speaking member of the podcast. <laughs> yep. And now, friends. Wait, was was our podcast translated? No, just the uh, comment. No, but like he's, I'm but he's obviously, uh, yeah, yeah. obviously Hispanic, yeah. does not speak English. So. Wrote in Spanish. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, is translated. our podcast... Is in English. Ooh. Is in English. But he wrote in Spanish. Is so. he? Does he listen, or is did someone translate this whole podcast to Spanish? I'm, I'm I have just questions. curious. Yeah, I'm just curious. Have, Are we dubbed in night? Spanish somewhere? Or or great? Oh, uh, see, I'm gonna. Who plays this me? Is the horrible. Like, I'm gonna bring you back down to reality. <laughs> Uh, somebody shared a photo oh, from okay. Facebook, and yeah, okay, uh, oh. right down to the. 
okay. crashing. Okay. Sorry. Okay. All right. No, I mean, it's, a, it's an awesome alternate universe. Wow. People are listening to us. Uh, we're big in the Spanish language. community. Hey, Wesley Cut Snipes is listening, out. okay? <laughs> yeah, right. If you're listening, Cesar, please write back. Uh, so this brings us to the final segment of our show where you're going to find out what each of the internet radio superstars thought of Demolition Man. Colin! What did you think? Demolition Man. Uh, Demolition Man. Interesting movie. Like I said at the beginning, I think these two uh, halves of it, the brainless action movie, which it's brainless, right? <laughs> I mean, because seriously, all they talk about, all the dialogue can be conveyed in one-liners. Everybody's trying to one-up each other in one-liners. So Stallone says a one-liner, reach it around the corner, starts shooting, snipes, dodges, Jumps up, says a one-liner, shoots back. That's the entire movie, basically, and it's uh, and it's action. This was one of those situations where I was like, "Huh, I don't really care about the action scenes in this movie, like at all. The stunts aren't done terribly well or memorable, serviceable, maybe. I mean, they work, I suppose. They're on screen, but they're not like anything that you'd be like. The action in Demolition Man is awesome. The thing that I think you remember Demol- Demolition Man for is where it is working, where it's these little satiric scenes, the, uh, you know, the sex helmets, the three seashells, you know, the swearing meter, uh, you know, giving you the ticket for mm-hmm. like all of those little critiques on society when it's doing that stuff, even though, you know, I think it's extremely silly. Silly in that it's almost like you're embarrassed for the actors who are in this movie. Because, <laughs> like, especially it. like Benjamin Bratt and uh, Sandra Bullock. Yeah. They Maybe not play Rob Snyder because he is a comedian. He's going right. to look like an idiot. That's what he anyway. does. Yeah. But, uh, you know, those people, I'm like, oh, this is like, you know, you, you're killing your career here by like doing these things. And, but they, you know, do it the way that, you know, you're asked to perform in these things. I'm sure that's why they're like, ah, people like demolition, man. I kind of wish that movie would just kind of go away. Um, Those are Dennis Leary's thoughts, by the way. He hates this movie. Uh, I think everybody associated hates, with it is like he hates this. Movie. I know, but like wow. Nigel Hawthorne, who played the the lead bad guy, like Cacto. he was like he fucking hates it. He was like, I only did it so they'd pay me so I could go make the madness of King George, and you know, I mean, like n- nobody who was in this movie likes being associated with the movie afterwards. Wesley even Snipes, though, correct us if we're wrong. Even no, though please. it has, okay, aside he, from... He liked it, so he's like, hey, someone well, likes because this Well, because I grant you that it has a cult following, and I think this is because, like, again, there's a disconnect here between, I think it's embarrassing if you were performing in the movie, right? I would say that, you know, you would say that this is not my best work, or this is some kind of silly thing that I did. But on the other side of it is that the there's a cult following about the movie because, you know, I suppose there is about any science fiction movie that tries to predict the future. Right. Yeah. In the year 2032, there's going to be demolition man screenings like all over the place on the tonight show. If it still exists, you know, they'll have some kind of, you know, whatever. They're going to back to the future to it. Yeah. Yeah. Look at the funny shit that, you know, was on, uh, cause this is only what, like 15 years from now. Stallone will still be around. Snipes will still be around. They'll be able to, Duke it out on. Don't make that face, Sean. <laughs> You'll curse him. Uh, yeah, no, what the, still got 20 good years in him. He's healthy as an ox. I mean, um, I guess so. Yeah, so it, uh, I, I think nostalgia goes a long way with this movie. I think if you've seen it before, you know, it's like you can see it again. I think any kid watching it today would like just, uh, this would be like intolerable, kind of. But I think, you know, unless you're a cinephile, in which case, you know, it's like, well, you know, you do have this kind of critique or satire of uh you know where the country where they thought the country was going you know where it ended up and you know what you know they're uh arguing for in this um so for that it's like it's an interesting movie i think i like it more than i dislike it right <laughs> i mean i was sitting here watching Sorry. and i think like when it's actually working <clears throat> in those little bits and pieces as a relic it's a time capsule of 1993 right yeah mm-hmm. yeah uh, it's fun. It's a lot of fun. Uh, so I still had fun with it. Um, I'm glad they're not making this type of movie anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but this one, I'm okay with. So I would uh, recommend The Demolition Man. The Demolition the, Man. It's, it's not, not The. It's just, just Demolition just, Man. I would recommend so. 
Demolition Man. No, no, he was. He said what he meant to say. He's like, yeah. I recommend the Demolition Man. That's his easy way of let getting out. Let me see the it. video box. Yeah. Let me see. <laughs> Where's the film? Um, Demolition Man. Uh, for movies like this, it's always a fight against nostalgia. Um, when looking back at something like this, um, it does have a cult following. I mean, you have to look at like, is it a good movie? Is, is my view of it now being colored about? of the strong feelings I had for it in the past. Cause I mean, if you grew up with something like this, you have strong feelings towards it. Um, I think that was demonstrated by, uh, at least, uh, the three of us who grew up with it. Colin, yeah. Yeah, not, did you grow the- up with it? Well, I mean like this was a constant thing in my childhood, like yeah. just on a lot. I mean, that, I think that's why we have such an affinity for these movies. I've seen it multiple times. Okay. Let's put it that way. <laughs> so, I mean, you're always looking at it. It's like, is it actually good? Or am I just, Looking at it through the or lens, or does it of, matter? Or, I mean, or uh, but that's the thing. But glasses. does it matter? Um, I don't know. I think for movies like this, um, uh, you, you notice some of the watching it now, and I haven't seen it for a few years. You notice more of like I probably the cheesiness of it, but I mm-hmm. mean. They make the characters like that, and it's a hard one for me. I mean, I, I still have fun with it. It's still, um, and I guess uh, nostalgia has a lot to do with that, but I still have fun with this movie. I mean, everybody seems like, at the time, no matter what they're thinking of it now, they were having fun. I mean, definitely Wesley Snipes had fun. Um, I think so? I think really? I really fun. think no, so. I mean, Wesley Snipes, yeah, but everybody, like, I don't know. Like, some of that dialogue I mean, to be like, we're just trusting you, Marco Brambilla. What's his yeah, name? What's the director? Brambillo? Brambilla. Marco Br- Brambilla. Marco Brambilla. Marco no, he was a video installation director. He, yeah. Art, he also, artiste. The only other thing he directed was Excess Baggage. With, oh, with Elise Silverstone? With Elise Silverstone. Oh, Benito my God. Del Toro. Really? I was so disappointed to find that out. I literally have an unhappy face on my notes here. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't she get kidnapped? Isn't that she the thing? stages She's her in... own kidnapping, right. I think. Right. Yeah. Right. It was wow. a terrible movie. <laughs> wow. It's terrible. Another one that was just happening right yeah. now. Yeah. But, you know, uh, Demolition Man, I think, is still... I still had fun with it. Um, there's still scenes in this movie that I get a kick out of. I mean, like we always said, Wesley Snipes uh, in the, the Hall of... Uh, what was it called? Violence. Oh, the Hall of Violence. 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 Yeah. Just to have something called the Hall of Violence. Is, yeah. Uh, it's pretty funny. Um, I, I, as, as cheesy as some of the stuff is and, and some of the... Uh, uh, some ways the actors have to act for their characters, um, but it's still good. I still like it. I definitely recommend it. It's still fun. Still get a kick out of it. Yeah. Yeah. Right. So uh, growing up, my dad is like a diehard Arnold fan, so I wasn't allowed to watch Stallone movies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, wow. Like, well, yeah. No, that's oh, what no. I was going to ask. Does that divide? <laughs> you got to be it, one or the other. One yeah, he probably, people, yeah. yeah. Um, the only one I was allowed to watch is Rocky because that's like, it's, like uh, an exception. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. like that was like all I knew Stallone for um, for a long time, actually. Uh, about two years ago, I did something. I discovered um, a lot of Stallone's like not so great movies sure. uh, and did like what I, I did. Yeah, I did what I called. <laughs> that's on my list, actually. I did what I call Stallone-a-thon. Ah. Um, uh, and that includes Demolition Man, Ryan Stone, Stop or My Mom Will Ryan Shoot. Stone. Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Stop or My Mom Will <laughs> Shoot. Uh, Cobra, Tango and Cash, Tango a Cliffhanger, Cash. and my favorite Stallone movie ever, Over the Top. Yeah. <laughs> I um, love Over the Top. Cliffhanger is good, too. Yeah. Movie. So, like, I just binged them all at once and kind of took them all in, and I was like, like, might break my dad's heart a little bit, but I think I prefer his movies more just because they're, there's a much more wider range of ridiculousness in yes. Stallone movies, yeah. and I love that. And this is like the height of Stallone ridiculousness, I think. I think this and Over the Top, it doesn't get any more over the top than those two movies. Um, I John Lithgow in a helicopter. I mean, come yeah. on. <laughs> I do odd. love John yeah. Lithgow. Yeah. A, yeah. Uh, but this movie is absolutely insane in all the best ways, and I love it. I, <laughs> It's got... All the best amounts of '90s nostalgia, but it's also just like it's just so much fun. And even though I think this movie's perfect, it does have one, it does have one <laughs> perfect continuity. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, perfect. I, I can't perfect. even give it. I can't, yeah. I can't even do that. And call it perfect. Yeah. <laughs> this movie's perfect. Oh. It does have one continuity <laughs> issue. Oh no, no. Yeah. <laughs> just Is his one. hair off? Um, Is it- well, okay. So this movie was made in '93, mm-hmm. but it, but it takes place in '96. And when Wesley Snipes is releasing all the prisoners at the end. He says, oh, Jeffrey Dahmer. I want to meet Jeffrey Dahmer. Like, he's excited to release him from cryo jail. Yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer was beat to death with a broomstick in 1994. So, 
He was killed in prison before this movie even took place the first time. Yeah, so he would have never been frozen in cryo jail. Yeah, but yeah, right, right. but the movie took place in 1996. Yeah, yeah this movie came out in 93, but, but yeah, yeah Jeff small kind still of, be alive. He was still alive at the time they made this movie, but mm-hmm. but because of the timeline in the movie it doesn't work. But in the so. movie he would have been frozen, so he wouldn't have died in prison. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Saved. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> and we've put it to rest. Yeah. <laughs> Just never mind. There's no continuity errors. It's perfect. It's a perfect movie. Oh, it's, so, perfect. it's perfect. It's perfect. This yeah. podcast would fall apart with yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, definitely watch it. I love it. Put it in your Stallone thon. Save it for like I mean, second it to last. Belongs in the Stallone uh, Yeah. Second to last, I think. I think right before over the top is a good is a good spot for this one. Yeah. Cliff, cliffhanger's <laughs> great too. Yeah. Well, Demolition Man, guys. Uh, I, I I fucking love this movie. It's so ridiculous. I I, I do agree that the, the the cheese factor could have been toned down a notch. Um, I mean, not for then though. Like that was just yeah. What they did. As far as accepting it as a good movie now, I think you have to look past the cheese factor. It's true. The dialogue, man, it's so bad. It's it's so. It was a hard one. It's so bad and so great at the same time. It is, I mean, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I I think of this movie is so much fun. It it's everything that you want. In, <laughs> it's everything you want a '90s future action movie to be. It's just because I don't. Know, I feel like I feel like the the humor in future movies pays out more than trying to be serious with future movies a lot of times as as far as 90s movies go because i think 90s movies try to be more serious with it we just make fun of them more yeah like it's just it seems more ridiculous this at least you know they're having fun with it and i love that um i i don't know i just think it's so much fun um Wesley Snipes. This this was actually the movie that like got me loving Wesley Snipes. It was after this movie that I I recognized him in other movies and I actively wanted to watch more of his movies. Obviously, we, I already knew who Stallone was, but um, this movie. Most, well, I think we're born knowing who Stallone is. I think so, one, right? Like that's yeah. just the thing. My like, dad tried to shield me from that. Right? Yes, he's I like, still know. No, he's yeah. too powerful. <laughs> <laughs> Stay back. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm just picturing your dad like <laughs> treating Stallone like he's like the devil. Like, yeah. like he walks into Stay a room. Stay away from my daughter. Yeah. <laughs> he walks into a room and like Nighthawks is on the TV and he's just like, no! <laughs> but what happened with like Van Damme and Seagal and those That guys, was all like, fine. They were fine. That was, was fine. Stallone. These are not the same caliber. Like these two Seagal. are the same, you know, yeah. So much so that in Last Action Hero, who got replaced on the but, Terminator poster? But yeah. I feel like you, I feel like if you're watching like a Dolph Lundgren movie, he thinks it's like a gateway act. <laughs> you know, like, yeah, exactly. like it's gonna turn you on to worse yeah. and harder actors. Like, what did, what did your dad do when Escape Plan came out? <gasps> oh, I don't, I, I don't think he follows the like <laughs> the current, I, those new current ones? movies. No, he's like, just like, yeah. so, I, live here. I think as far as he's concerned, they're all retired. Did he find you know? <laughs> Did he find Perfect Harmony when Expendables came out? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, because yeah. like, I saw that when he found a million. Is that when he times found peace in his like, life? Yeah, like like <laughs> JCVD movies were totally fine. Like saw Bloodsport a million times as a kid. Even the so. Dennis Rodman JCVD movies, which were what that was another peak nineties. <laughs> oh wow, Come yeah. on. That was, there were two <laughs> movies. Yeah, right there. Double, Double Demon. Demon. And there's another one with him and Rodman. Oh, I swear it? to God, there is. Uh, Unless this is like a Kazam Sinbad thing. Oh, it might be. Here. I hope not. Mandela I'm effect. Look that up. <laughs> yeah. Direct to video thing they did. Later. There was a lot of those. Yeah. yeah. Maybe. <laughs> sorry, this was your rap. It's, yeah, it's yeah, okay. No, no. This this is exactly what I was getting at. I I think in the, in cases like this, the nostalgia factor doesn't matter. I think it's just a fun movie, and when you watch it with people that have that nostalgia, I think it makes it more fun. And I'm pretty sure that there's going to be more. 90s action in the future of the freak show. I think I think Stallone has opened the gateway to more Van Damme and more Lundgren Have we and done, more Seagal we, and, more, and it's like, going to be Jean-Claude glorious. Van, have we done a Jean-Claude Van Damme movie? No. It seems we, like we what? should have by this point out of 200 episodes. Yeah. Well, don't wow. you worry, Sean. It's coming. Oh, yeah. God. Double yeah. impact? 
He plays not, twins. No spoilers. What? No it's spoilers. Be Universal Soldier, am I right? It's the team. I mean, it probably should be. I mean, you know how much I love Longgren, so. <laughs> it probably should be. I so, can't find another movie where they're both in it. Oh shit! Are we gonna oh, say Mandel they, effect? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> <laughs> shit. All right, I guess. Well, with that, I there was the one where uh, Van Dam fought himself. Maybe you had that was one double one. impact. That was double oh, impact. Okay. Yeah. What did I say? Double team. He's double, double team. Yeah. That was double team. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Van Dam's coming. Don't you worry. Oh, yeah. Van Damme's coming. Um, Demolition Man, I give it um, four. Oh, oh God damn it. <laughs> I give it four. four no, sex. you're not allowed. Shut up. I give it four <laughs> sex helmets. Ah! Yeah. Out of, out of, <laughs> out of how many uh, sex helmets? Uh, it's out of ten, this is bad. Five. Five. Out of five. Four out of five sex helmets. Wow. Yeah. So it's not a perfect movie. It's on the doorstep. It's, it's almost there. It's, all, I, it's right before the threshold. I feel like his arm would have caught fire in the beginning with the gasoline and the the blowtorch. Right, and he that would have been me. on fire. He would have been on fire, and that mm-hmm. bugged me. Mm-hmm. Otherwise, it would have had five. Mm-hmm. I give it two greetings and three salutations. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's definitely <laughs> on the Saturday Night Freak Show next week. Stay tuned, audience, because we're going to be watching a movie that Michaela is going to pick. We don't even know what it is. We're gonna no, find it we right have now. no idea. What are we watching? We're going to watch 2010's Rubber. Rubber. Oh, rubber. Rubber about a murderous tire. You're going to have fun, guys. I have not seen this movie. 2010, not a 70s yes. movie. This is a recent movie. About right, a for this. Murderous tire. A murderous tire. A tire yes. with telekinesis. Fantastic. So that's next week on the Saturday Night Freak Show. 